Hello and welcome to another episode of Underground Cricket Podcast where college friends talk about all things Indian cricket. In this episode, we are going to discuss the IPL Round 1 games and see how teams are using their impact player role and see what changes that each IPL team needs to do you know, to uh, get into the playoffs. Today with me, I am joined by regular uh, host uh, Watsal Maru and Surya. Hey guys, did you get a chance to catch the games? How are you feeling? <laughs> Quite excited. <laughs> first round of the IPL. Uh, so it was good. Um, first couple of games. There were two dead rubbers like uh, one-sided games. Uh, all in all, it started. Uh, home and away games is a quite interesting fact. Uh, you know, the players playing in their home grounds has been uh, emotional for many fans. <laughs> What about you, Watsal? Yeah, it's fun. Uh, good to be back. Hello, everybody. Uh, had roller coaster rides for most of the teams. We had a couple close games, and the rest of them were washouts. So I, I, I think this is just a first game thing for most teams. So we can't extrapolate all the results to entire tournament, obviously. But we learn few things, and we learn the mindset of teams, how they are approaching various facet of these new rules especially right uh, in fact even before the tournament started um, hardik and dhoni both hardik and ms both gave their statements how they think about the impact player rule uh, one said that he doesn't care a lot he will let assist by take care of it and one said that it's very inviting in in this sport so we we're going to see a lot many differences and maybe few change of thoughts from captains themselves so i think it's a good area good good tournament and obviously we know that the hype of ipl 2023 was huge so fun to be around a lot many expectation expectations and we definitely have a long tournament this time longer than any other yeah. ipl so yeah yeah you put it you put the uh, hard in a pretty good spot right when at the toss when he was asked what is your team look like he said i don't know that was the response on national television and Ravi Shastri messed it up saying Gujarat instead of Gujarat Titans he said somewhere like Gujarat Giants so that's that it was a pretty good uh, opening Ravi by his gender, gen, Ravi, Ravi, Ravi gender fluid so I think you have to let yeah, him yeah uh, we are the MMG fan club over here uh, for Ravi Bhai if anyone is interested what MMG is, they can watch uh, 2018 India versus Adelaide Test match. So, all right. So, yep. Yeah, I got a chance to catch all the games, especially the highlights and the, like most of the game time during it because it starts at 9 a.m. here. So, I was caught up with most of the games. Uh, in the first opener, Gujarat Titans versus CSK, the emotional, uh, like the crown was full to the cap filled to the capacity it was just people wanted ms to come to the crease and wanted him to play i mean it was unreal experience they had this opening ceremony arjit singh and couple of other actresses came and danced and then we had the trophy share and you know that's where it kicked off uh, it was a very lively atmosphere it was I, I think it can be compared to the melbourne mcg uh, atmosphere as well because there were one, more than one lakh people cheering on so pretty good first game uh, I believe today's games were a little one-sided but the first game of the competition was pretty exciting the game was lost tactically and the word that I'm using is tactically because I believe uh, it, you know like it's un known or it's uncanny of MS losing tactically, right? So this was the first game where MS lost tactically with Hardik Pandya. Uh, positives from the game were uh, or this, uh, Gujarat's uh, new opening stand. I mean, Gil scoring 63. Uh, Shami bowling those power play overs and people using the impact rule. Unfortunately for Kane, he got injured while saving a six. But I hope, and he is out of IPL 2023, so they might have to replace him with Steve Smith or some other thing. I don't know, some other player. So, Marnus. Yeah. Let's go with Marnus. Yeah. 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 So, so, 
yeah i think they scored about 170 they were on they were going for 200 plus i think rutu raj played i don't know what happens to rutu raj when he wears the yellow jersey versus when he wears the blue jersey so rutu raj was looking fabulous try could might be a tricky call for a no ball to get him out but, but no one supported him and when i said ms lost tactically was when they sent in dubey ahead of your premier all rounder jadeja and himself dhoni himself so yeah. i mean that's where the game was lost according to me uh, yeah, yeah that's totally right uh, i'll i'll I'm leave it to that, csk like... fan <laughs> <laughs> so we had to talk about sir well yeah uh, we didn't expect that as well uh, when dubey came in we thought okay he'll go bla- all guns blazing and uh, try to go all the, i mean at least there is an intent there but um, uh, that uh, tactically we we felt uh, there was a quite slow after a very good start with rigtaraj uh, i think there were 112 for 3 or something like that and suddenly uh, it was after 12 hours and suddenly they they went slow they slowed down uh, after the wickets a uh, couple of wickets in the middle order ben stokes and uh, moin ali that's okay but uh, you still have a deep batting lineup you have a batsman until the 10th uh, like even rajwardhan hungergekar can play so you have the youngsters you have deepak chahar and you still you know uh, didn't utilize your batting lineup properly so that's where the game slowed down and it allowed gujarat to come back and rest of the things uh, they ch- they chased down quite well uh, honestly uh, gil was amazing and then um, they they built partnership and uh, as as expected like gujarat has uh, their roles defined for each and every player what who needs to do what so i think uh, csk that was the difference with the csk uh, and gujarat game um in yeah, gujarat were in the game uh, see uh, i believe Guj- csk was in the game till 19th over like you know yeah uh, stevati was also struggling yeah still uh, still yeah so yeah still we were short of like 10 to 20 runs because uh, uh, batting is our uh, strength for this season and we didn't utilize that um so probably uh, i hope uh, we'll we'll get better with the time uh, tactically and uh, as uh, someone says uh, protege one against his mentor uh, hardik uh, and his great captaincy i still uh, am a big fan of hardik's captaincy so he he has a very good uh, plan whenever he's approaching a game so it was a very good opener no, uh, i mean I... okay thank you yeah. so now let's yeah, hear no, from that, that, that... the gujarat titans super fan yeah uh so few points true uh, i i agree with the facts whatever facts mentioned especially tactical battle uh, i i want to i want to say an elaborate in fact whatever you say it's sastri and surya uh, what sastri you mentioned about the tactical battle absolutely even though you have Jadeja and Dhoni in your dressing room sending Dubey may not be the right choice at the time um, and it's not just about sending Dubey Dubey himself also had to recognize that now he should not be spending a lot many balls if he's not able to score so now this attaches to the point Surya mentioned which I think was discussed a lot in our group um, look even on social media we saw everybody is going after the csk bowlers but you have to come to realization that csk is not good with bowling lineup this year they are lacking few of the bowlers uh, they lack i think the premium spinner tikshana and they also need somebody who finish it off in death overs we know that but at the same time you going after somebody say for example tushar despande that is a secondary thing first thing is your betting depth is almost 10 batters so you have to put runs on the board and then go after the bowlers you cannot criticize the bowler for not defending where your batters which are supposed to put runs who are supposed to put runs did not put runs so at some point it was looking almost in the excess of 210 or 220 runs but at least you expect them to end up with 10 runs per over 
somewhere around 200 rats and achieving the total of 178 i think was a little bit of underachievement by the csk batsman um, and that played a big part so that comes to in the second innings when your bowlers could not defend it's not because the bowlers were poor you know the fact that they haven't have the pedigree to achieve the results and defend the results right so they have to always put 10 20, 10, 20 runs and this is also true for teams like mumbai indians who are lacking their bowling uh, they don't have good bowling unit this year uh, they're lacking in spin department and they're lacking just bit from so we would see this theme for other teams where they don't have strong bowling lineup and it would be interesting how they use the impact player rule to improve their bowling when they don't have that bowling depth okay one more point on this kane williams kane williamson's injury i think gujarat would have ideally substituted with him uh, substituted manohar abhinav manohar um maybe get him in the team um and do some knocking around i guess at in the depth but i think kane's injury showed that we had to go with kane's replacement with somebody else so there were some some unfortunate changes for gujarat titans and yet we were able to overcome and i i agree to the last point you mentioned sastri that i was mentioning in the group and not many everybody were agreeing with me and i don't want to elaborate with my point or your point but i just want to say that when gujarat titans are in comfortable position it's not comfortable because our betting depth is not there so when everybody every other team might have convincing or might be comfortable in situations when you need say for example 30 runs in four overs gujarat titans are running on the rope if hardik pandya gets out if devate gets out we don't have miller we already lost kane williamson so csk had a lot many opportunities so if you go and analyze in hindsight or during the game you would have known so forget about it during the game because we can't say we weren't live so we can't say we can't take credit but even in hindsight we can see if csk put 10 20 runs more even say for example if dube hadn't come and ms had come in in place of dube csk would have had a better chance so uh, that game could have gone either way and that's why it's a it was a close game it wasn't done and dusted game uh, so i think yeah, absolutely impact right. player rule yeah gt was forced to use impact player for kane csk could have done better and i agree with that i think csk had a plan to replace uh, raidu with tushar despande way ahead because you can choose your 11s after the toss right so since they knew they were batting first so they went ahead with uh, uh, tushar despande but they could have used simarjit or the lefty replacement akash singh maybe i don't know maybe in the upcoming upcoming games they will learn that but i think if in the Ch- uh, chennai tracks they will go with three spinners that is for sure yeah. and replace the yeah, spinner I'm with surprised. the surprised I'm surprised that they didn't use uh, Simarjit as an impact player as well. But uh, I heard that uh, Tushar Deshpande has a very good domestic track record uh, in last season. And uh, they took a chance with him. Uh, but the positives that I would take from this game was uh, Hunger Gaker. He got a chance and he striked uh, from his first over. He looked uh, good uh, with some promising deliveries and then uh, some Yorkers. So that is one positive and Ruturaj, as usual, uh, he has been amazing on the top. Uh, just need uh, some middle order fire yeah. <laughs> and yep. could be back. Yep. Tomorrow's game is going to be uh, very imp- important for us uh, because it is in Chennai. Yeah. So let's move on to the second game, which was between Kolkata and Punjab. I got a chance to catch the highlights for that game uh, Punjab started pretty well and there was good uh, like you know KKR contained them to that 184 score but uh, Rajapaksa was the impetus that they provided they were like 143 for 2 or 143 for 3 in like 13th over but to get down from that to 184 it was a pretty commendable job from KKR KKR did not start pretty well uh, they had uh, Russell did a blitz. Russell was taking them back, but he mistimed one and he got out. Uh, 
बट के के आर ऑल्सो हैव अ गुड बैटिंग टैप एंड शार्दुल ठाकुर एंड सुनील नरेन वर बैटिंग वैन it was when it started to rain heavily and that's where the game was called off and and this they lost by 7 dia uh, runs in the tls method i believe if they were six one like if they were six down maybe they could have won the game i'm not sure i'm not that perfect in dls scheme of things but it's a pretty good close it was a pretty good game uh, if it if not interrupted by rain and may yeah, impact, yeah. P- impact they had uh, they, 4 over 40 46 right yes, they had 4 over 46 uh that was yeah. the equation probably if there was no wicket in that over could have been different but still uh sunil narain yeah. smacked a six in the last ball yeah psi yep that's where so yeah pretty close game uh, so, since it was so, a 5 5 am game good yeah so so if if the game was reduced i think here uh so Let, let me make it clear uh we all in the us so it was very difficult for us to catch this game uh, on saturday morning uh, however at the same time <laughs> i have few points and few questions in fact not the points uh, if the game was shorter a little bit right so why rinku singh came before andre russell and shardu no, uh, maybe was, andre the game was stop the game was stop after it started raining so it was not reduced to 16 overs before yeah so basically they were playing oh. a 20 over game, game and it was unfortunate for them that rain started heavily and they had to stop abruptly yes in the middle of the game so by the time they just calculated so, dls uh, score card and they decided the winner uh, they just lost by 7 runs okay so in that DS, case DLS. yet also this is also a similar mistake the way cs came out sending rinku singh ahead of andre russell um, i think even those no. andre's 35 runs um, would have been much more useful and if instead of rinku coming to bat sunil or shardul had come to bat would have may have different impact so i think yeah, few but, few margins here and there but the yeah. problem was they lost early wickets that's where that's where they sent rinku in 29 they for 3 keep, they were yeah yeah they wanted to keep russell at the back end Mm. that could be the reason yeah mm. not I good mean, to see also you saying uh, but rinku did uh four balls four runs anyway so okay this is hindsight analysis uh this is not yeah. foresight but yet we can see that this sort of decisions uh maybe in sanju manju language bits and pieces players coming <laughs> <Yeah>. coming <laughs> yeah coming venkatesh uh, that's there, okay look impacts Let, let me make this point because it might look like a jab i'm not taking a dig at rinku singh rinku singh is a wonderful player who gives 100% all the time uh, what we saying what we saying what i am saying is in fact there are what if analysis counterfactual analysis where we can think for short very small margins very short distance sometimes these things make a difference okay so you can give you can take yeah, the, a jab as well no one is no one no one will give a damn you can take a jab and this platform no, is but, for taking but, jabs having like, unpopular opinions but KKR's, but i i find i find uh, rinku, i find rinku gives good effort okay he 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 gives more than required he the way he feels okay he's pretty good he, he almost won them a game into the playoffs last year Uh, yeah apart yeah, from yeah, yes, uh, exactly. if not for that lewis catch he went he took them K- yeah. he took kkr into the playoffs last time around so i think he's a pretty good bat he just needs he needs just needs backing so not been pretty good game since yeah watched the highlights impact tool was used uh, impact but did not impact anything but anyways venkatesh iyer did a run a ball i think it was <laughs> almost a run a ball where trying to get into form but it was after that uh, slow start right that bad yeah. start their top order looks really bad uh, kind of uh, uh, very inexperienced lineup uh, in their top 4 or top 5 kkr without shreyas ayer and shakib alhasan maybe um, they are yeah. little weak in the top order i think next from next game letton das and shakib alhasan will play and I'm not sure why yeah. they are sure. not sending Sunil Narain as an opener. They they have tried multiple times and it it was successful. Yeah, I mean, in the absence of Lettendas, they could have sent Sunil Narain as an opener. 
but I don't know. Management might be looking at in some other way. Yeah, I think they are playing series with Ireland in Bangladesh. So as soon as that finishes, they will hop on here. So tell me, tell me this. Uh, this conversation makes sense, but. Who are the death bowlers? I think for the first game we didn't discuss. Who are the death bowlers for CSK this season? Uh, I think I saw them using Tikshana last year a little bit here and there. Uh, MS yeah. might have to use in Gen X when the trek are slower. I think Tikshana. Yeah, first, bef- yeah, before I answer that, I want to take digs at Sri Lankan cricket board for not allowing that uh, Tikshana, Vanindu Asaranga, Patirana, the CSK Malinga. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck are they doing uh, playing in New Zealand, a bilateral T20 international, where T20 internet, there is, it's not even a T20 World Cup here. I don't know. It is literally brainless cricket from, like brainless decision from Sri Lankan cricket board to allow, not allow their players, uh, you know, to play, you know, New Zealand also, New Zealand is opponent, right? But New Zealand did allow their players. Whoever are in the IPL, go. We just don't care. Just play IPL. But I believe uh, Sri Lankan players could have come after the ODS. I know the ODS were important for them to get a direct qualification in the World Cup. But which did not happen. They lost the series as well. But I believe, I mean, they should just have either sent those players. Yeah, but... That's the dig that I want to take at Sri Lankan Cricket Board. And secondly, Tikshana will be used one over in power play and one over in uh, like a couple of overs in the death. So in death, yeah. Yeah. CSK so they have dead pre- balling. So I know, I know, I know they have Pretorius who is very good. Uh, he yeah. has very good slow balls, right? Uh, so he might be use, useful, very useful in slower decks right? where the ball stucks. Uh, I think uh, Tikshana could be one of the options. So who is the remaining option? I think Deepak Chahar's one over would be useful at the end, perhaps in yeah. difficult games. Uh, they should groom yeah. Raja, this uh, youngster, Hunger Geeker, as well. They can try. Yeah, but of Chahar course, was yeah. not brand that new. effective against... I know the sample size is low. He was not effective at death. He had a pretty good first spell. Chahar had a pretty good first spell, but I think uh, he he's at not, death. yeah. Okay, so if we move on, uh, Punjab KKR game uh, in Punjab. Who so so Punjab made it first? I know um, KKR try using uh, Saudi. I I know and what they were doing as far as I remember from the highlights. What Saudi was doing, I guess, is trying to bowl far uh, wide Yorkers or wide full length balls and asking batsmen to go for offside, which was longer boundary. Okay, so. I think Shah Rukh Khan scored a couple of boundaries over there. So for KKR, also seems like not good death bowling option. So who would be the death bowlers for KKR? I think Saudi. Umesh. Saudi. Umesh is a new ball bowler, but I don't know. Saudi, yeah. Saudi I mean, is one of Of course, they goals. have Shardul. They have Shardul. Shardul is there. And they have Lockie as well. So depending upon the yeah. pitch. Loki would Lockie be a good option. I think Lock- Loki wasn't available. Uh, I think that's the reason. Um, if Loki is available, I think one over would be to Loki, and the rest would be in between switches of Southie and Thakur. Yeah, but Loki uh, and both Southie of them don't play together. Yeah, Narayan they won't play yeah. together. They have... Narayan is their death over sixteen seventeen. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. either Chakra- the scammer Chakravarti or. Uh... <laughs> you can nothing. say that. So, but in the other hand, Punjab looks pretty good uh, yeah. with, the, with the ball and with the bat as well. Like they have a solid lineup. Uh, like I didn't realize that Punjab team is pretty good. Uh, but uh, when I saw the uh, the game, it was it was way better. And their their top order is firing well. Um, they have a solid uh, Shikhar Dhawan. And then Rajapaksa is uh, someone who scores at 150 strike rate. And even the Prab Simran Singh, this guy, uh, he scored well against Saudi. In the first two overs, he was like uh, being aggressive and yeah, scoring went very good. Yeah, he went and, and the way he got out, I, 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 and the way he got out, 
was very disappointing, right? Uh, yeah. Left side glance. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's, yeah. that's pretty disappointing. The, yeah. like, I know he's a very good talent, but he was not getting opportunities to bat. But since the impact rule, this year they are giving him a go. Just because they can replace him or they can replace. Later no, on, yeah. Not just that. I think he has gained form in domestic circuit and he has been working on this. And that's why he looks like a completely different player than last season. Um, whatever he has been doing, I think is working for him. And it looks pretty much... Is the a shots... top order player. Uh, he's a top order player. But last, like whenever yeah. he got a chance, it was in the middle order or maybe like yeah. number four or something. But this time it's proper opening slot. So he's going back. Right. Man. I hope he Yeah, because him. they don't have Mayank now or... Um, any other player in the top order so it's a very no good too. opportunity for him um he he looked confident whatever the time that he put in so could be a good season yeah. for him yeah, let's move on to yeah, the next yeah prop, prop, prop no hang on one sec uh prop simran look good i think i want to give props to the captainship by shikhar okay. shikhar uh, couple yeah. points uh he brought in Rajapaksha a little earlier, one down, which is a good thing because he did not want strike rate or run rate, in fact, to drop down. And the second right. point I want to mention is when Prabhasimran was hitting, when he got out, who replaced him? Raj, uh, Rajapaksha. When Rajapaksha was hitting, Shikhar also started improving his strike rate. That means that it's not just anchor game, right? I think we seeing that the anchor role uh, being overplayed by every team. And in T20, at the, at the end of the day, you need to put as much runs, as, as much runs here as you can put, right? Like saving mm-hmm. wickets is of no use. Therefore, the players have to put runs, accelerate when they can. And we seeing that Punjab has that amazing balance. After Rajapaksha, who came? Jitesh Sharma. As soon as he came, he was able to accelerate. Um, even yeah. those 20 runs in 11 balls, balls play a big role when you have somebody who is scoring 30 runs in 30 balls. Okay, Those teams being affected. And I think we saw in the 100 franchise when Babur went unsold. This phenomenon giving the verdict that player who is playing faster has higher importance than just player who is playing a uh, lower strike rate. It's not that Babar has lower strike, right? Again, I'm not trying to say uh, whatever statement I make should not be taken as opposite. What I'm trying to say is the value of a player is much higher when the value a player's strike rate is much higher. So I think Punjab is using them very well. Uh, then you have somebody who's Sikandar Raza. And after that, you have Sam Kuran and Shahrukh Khan. So this betting order looks very good. And having Arshdeep in bowling, I think Punjab looks very promising team. Yeah. If yeah. the teams yeah. which which are stronger, such, such as SRH, do not achieve the results according to their uh, expectations, even though they have a very strong team this year, if they don't achieve the results, Punjab can replace those teams. Okay, Punjab can yeah. even qualify for playoffs if they continue. Yeah. So this Everyone this was... team would be a team. Right. This team would be a and team to look out for. Yes, definitely yeah, a team to look out for. Yeah, everyone was touting uh, SRH to be in top four, but you saw this today's performance. But after, late, later, later, we can talk about it later. But yeah, the on next game in the in the same game, oh, I just want to add one point to that, uh, whatever Watsal is mentioned. On on contrary, in the same game, you notice the KKR's top six, right? Uh, you see the difference there. Like, they do not have a player who is like going for uh, 200 strike rate or 150 plus strike rate. Of course, Mandeep Singh is a good player, but he got out early and then they didn't recover or they didn't seem to uh, look on their run rate while chasing and uh, until the of course they lost 29 for 3 and you see the top 6 has been very inexperienced and weak venkatesh ayer he plays a runner ball most of the time uh, i don't see him as a 150 or 200 strike rate batter um, so why don't you send uh, sunil narayan at the top uh, so that is some mistake they even got wrong uh, tactically if you send like sunil narayan and mandeep singh on the top and keep Brahmanullah, Gurbaz, uh, or Gurbaz and Sunil Narayan on the on on the 
opening batters COVID, and then Gurbaza one down yeah gurbaz and sunil narayan at, as an opener and then one down mandeep singh and then you put venkatesh ayer and then you come uh, the captain nitish rana nitish rana can go at 150 strike rate not all the time yeah, but, but- why didn't they go venkatesh ayer in the opening slot because that's where he got his fame from right the 22nd half of right. 2021 ipl he opened the innings for kkr but, and he was scoring but then, the point but then there he played is... for india uh, yeah but then he played for india and when he played for india he played for number 5 and number 6 and number since six. then he said that if i'm going to if i'm ever going to play for india uh indian team needs me here and therefore i'll be practicing for those slots and therefore he said okay. that i will be playing for kkr also then okay. uh maybe maybe good for him maybe good for kkr i don't know uh, if there are conflicting objectives don't know point is no, but... i like surya's point where they distributed all their high strike le- strike rate players like uh few of them came very early on and few of them came very late on they had to distribute it properly and i think it's learning curve exactly. for exactly it was his first game it yeah his first it game. is his first game and, yeah uh, we can't judge i think once litan das and uh, shakib alasan come litan das is going to open for sure litan is sure. yeah yes, litan das is as ipl i know he was a very good power play player and attacking player only thing is he has never played and, ipl before and only both thing, of them are very good against spain yes and Uh, do you remember the uh, round robin game against india he was the one who almost took away the game from us uh, if not right. for the run out right yes. right he's so, he's pretty KL. good pretty damn so good so just sure that kl actually made that run out but <laughs> yeah i mean they yeah, figure out as to one we'll get more information and more data points when we talk about it in the coming weeks but i believe once <laughs> litan das and shaky will come back they will have a pretty good squad Moving yeah they just the need to distribute their their players uh, kkr they just need to distribute their players up and down and that should be good of course they are not as solid lineup as some some teams like uh, punjab or srh have but they still have a good s- squad and they can yeah. compete well right now this batting order looks no, K- they just need to change things kkr is kkr is another team which have to put runs on the board like csk and mi they have to put runs on the board otherwise it's very difficult for their bowling order to defend um, they can obviously but it's very difficult all right. all right let's move on to the third game the lsg versus delhi capitals uh, it was the first game for lsg at their home ground so crowd did not i mean it was not a filled stadium they had pretty much empty seat most of the stadium was empty but Delhi Capitals did start well but their fielding sucked big time in that game so fielding sucked big time in the game and especially shout out to Kali Lehmat for dropping the <laughs> sitter of a catch uh, even a 3 even a 3 year old could take that in his sleeve it was such a sitter to drop on and too many miss fields and they are taking a wrong decision to go ahead with Sarfaraz as a wicket keeper because he did miss a stumping of Puran Puran went to play an impactful innings of 36 or some like 15 change balls right so like, 36 21 imagine if you go, yeah imagine if you got Puran in the uh, like when he was on a single digit and the game could have changed then and there there were multiple miss fails yeah. uh, multiple catch drops so you know i mean they lost the game with their own hands and i mean they had well, to play i know I there would... is no he, they lost rishabh pant like like uh, speedy recovery for him but i think they they should play a proper keeper sarfaraz khan i would say looks keeper i would say i would say kyle myers drop was the game changer he literally played at 191 strike rate and scored a massive 73 runs which is like it's a goal yeah he was struggling and, uh, before then he was struggling before then yeah. he was like strike rate was yeah, 50 uh, or something that yeah that drop catch is like a blessing for him and uh, he just uh, shown how good he is and it's a good headache for lsd when quentin de kock comes in uh, they don't know whom to uh, replace kyle myers with yeah. because yeah. kyle myers can be handy yeah. with the ball yeah once KD, qdk come back it is going to be difficult for gambir and klol to <laughs> replace uh, kyle myers right so yeah batting wise uh bad delhi never got it going shaw 
uh, was exposed to his weakness and what a terrific performance from mark wood uh, on the, that kind of surface he was darting in at 150 ks almost 150 ks got two in two set up beautifully set up prithvi shaw uh, three shot balls in a row and he was expecting a fourth shot ball uh, got him with a no over pitch delivery same with Mr. as Marsh, usual in swinger to the wicket as usual yeah. in swinger for the prithvi shaw the same yeah. mistake repeating again for last two years yeah and what positive was warner's uh, form i mean he got into back into runs with a half century but his strike rate was worse uh, i mean i don't see delhi going ahead with if they have to approach their batting slash because so, keeping matters so tell me tell me this and so sasri tell, tell me uh, the wicket keeping options for delhi uh, so right now they're using sarfaraz they obviously actually, pant is out yeah so uh, yeah so since rishabh pant was out they did not uh, replace him they just replaced a week ago where there were trials sheldon jackson and couple of others there and there was some porel abhishek Pur, not not abhishek porel some porel Asian from porel. bengal uh, yeah yeah mm. so, so from from bengal they replaced uh, pant with that guy but yeah so they have so they have abhishek, abhishek porel Abhishek Porel is a Abhishek young player Porel, 20 yeah. years old and they have they have yeah. Phil Salt uh, with I think yes. Phil Salt is from where oh, um, he's England England S- he plays for Surrey yeah he's from he's from yeah, uh, yeah, he's from, yeah he's a pretty yeah. yeah he plays in all the different T20 leagues it's a pretty good attacking batsman top order yeah, but... so either they have to play with him or Riley Russo either they have to make a call so mm. you know or yeah. Roman Powell so, you know to avoid yeah. that keeping thing they are trying to so, replace riley riso uh, in the punts position and they cannot change warner and mitchell marsh because i would play mitchell marsh as a opener and warner one down because he is not as aggressive as he was before uh, right now he is barely scoring at 130 or 140 strike rate so i would play mitchell marsh and prithvi shaw as openers for delhi capitals i was surprised that marsh didn't open this time because he was looking solid no, against india series he comes at 3 for every franchise he was he come he comes at 3 at every franchise for his perth scorchers no. or in the world cup as didn't well you, he came didn't at 3 didn't you see didn't you see australia's uh, recent yeah, series yeah that was because warner that? was not there because warner was unavailable he opened it otherwise he would not so, but, man he Surya, was in the Surya, man. Uh, this 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 game this game you saw prithvi shaw did not score but otherwise you have one explosive batsman and david warner is the person who would accelerate over time we see this he's not yeah. just anchor he can accelerate but he would play longer so if yeah. if you distribute like every odd number or every every two players you have a striker heater uh, i think i for for my opinion as far as i think Delhi is still a team to beat. Okay, they have a very, very good eleven. For example, they their batting lineup starts with Prithvi Shaw and David Warner. Both of them, if Prithvi Shaw scores, that means they are very well placed in power play. And then you get if if Prithvi Shaw gets out, you Prithvi Shaw or Warner obviously, but Prithvi Shaw is attacking, so higher probability of him getting out earlier. If he gets out, you replace him with Mitch Mars. So you still keep getting the power play advantages. Yeah. Okay. Uh, But unfortunately, Prithvi Shaw and Mitch Mars, none of them scored this game, and that's some games yeah. won't be like that. Odd games, uh, yeah. you can't expect every game uh, them to strike. But this but then uh, let, 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 let me wrap, let me wrap it up. Uh, so then you have Sarfraz, Russo, Roman Powell. These three players are also very good in terms of ability. Okay, all three Powell can play good. at a higher yeah. strike rate. longer innings yeah and then you have someone like aman khan who is a substitute but akshar patel is then your finisher so i think this team is not bad uh, highly not bad, yeah. capable of competing yeah and this yeah, roman powell capable. is like uh, roman powell is like uh, andre russell uh, he literally plays like those kind of innings you know massive strokes so yeah, yeah they do have Once a gets going deep, right yeah Yeah. They do, but I believe their, their strategy of I'm repeating this again. I believe they should uh, they should rethink the strategy of making Sarfaraz keep. I mean, literally drop. Yeah. Uh, like that's where the game was lost. The ca- drop catch of Kali Lehman. Yes. Uh, of uh, Kyle Myers uh, and this Nicholas Puran mess. That's where the and, and they just missed couple if, of 
simple uh, like you know uh, feeling and things they just miss some couple of one more things. point that i want to add up uh, if you clearly look at the scorecard only kyle Mar- kyle myers is the stand out there he's the only one who played like 192 strike rate rest of the lsg they were like 120 or 100 uh, apart from yeah. again uh, nicolas poran he he Pardon. played a good knock but Pardon those Pardon two Pardon were the cash drops yeah badoni yeah i know where Pardon. you i know where you going with the strike rate <laughs> conversation for lsg <laughs> strike rate doesn't That's matter that's a blessing it is guys for <laughs> kl kl steam kl getting out uh, early uh, strike rate doesn't uh, matter yeah but that okay, game so, is all about I mean, strike rate <laughs> that was pretty much one sided game as well delhi yeah. so, lost so, okay okay feeling. okay let's let's think about the death bowlers for dc and uh, lsg uh, who are the death bowlers for ls uh, lsg uh, so first who bowl uh, dc bowl right so who are the death bowlers for dc i think khalil uh, bowled Sa- but who are the who bowled yeah, in the yeah. death chetan sakaria sakaria he went for many in the last over 20 yeah or he poor guy ஒரு <laughs> Okay so now to the bowlers of LSG. Um uh, I want to make this point before you go in death mid uh, wherever. Big props to Mark Wood for Mark Wood, having the yeah. ability of bowl on, ha- yeah having the ability to bowl on flat tracks. I think he's one of those bowlers who extract something where nothing is happening and that is purely his passion and effort, okay? You need to put a lot of energy with positive mindset. when there is nothing happening for bowlers and yet he extracts something and get something for his team he did did not just in t20s we saw that him performing very well in pakistan on flat tracks in test match cricket also when nothing when nothing was happening for most bowlers he was trying to get something for his team and that takes mindset that takes ability and that takes some effort uh big props to him for that and i think he he's getting the results he deserves yeah marco day is a big lookout for the world cup he's going to be a big threat and uh, i mean man uh, cloaking 150s and right um, yeah, line and, and the way he set up hitting Shaw the deck very well you know? yeah the way he set up his is too good to his work. his bouncers are really effective and uh, they are just close to the batsman and not like giving away a you you know wide off of stump or like down the leg stump his bouncers are very effective yeah, back, yeah yeah back of the length it's difficult to hit him you know at that pace hopefully at that pace yeah we'll figure out a way i only yeah. saw surya kumar smacking him well <laughs> other than that i haven't <laughs> seen anyone else uh, playing that well against him but uh, surya kumar again when he was on his prime uh, against england but then mark wood is like brilliant there uh, it's it's amazing to see that kind of a bowling uh, we just okay. hope our umran malik uh, <laughs> becomes some someone like that he can learn obviously right. he has the ability of bowling faster and we he have do. learned from most of the pace bowlers like in this in this podcast we have discussed that the players who have done at the highest level have the ability and they can convey the skills what are the what are the things uh you need or you require to perform at the highest level for player like umran um, he has the ability to bowl quicker and i don't think people should be telling him that do this or do that but he has to focus on few things and i think he can learn from some of the best in the world for example norkia or uh, mark wood right they showing in ipl when track has nothing to offer and yet you can extract something as a pace bowler maybe the trick is just hit the stump most of the time if batsman misses uh, you get the return if batsman scores kudos to him right i think that's good mentality yeah, yeah i mean delhi once they get all the reinforcement uh, would be a team to look for too but unless until they fix that keeper they have that uh, you know that and has to be can barring anything lsg looks like a team to beat really man uh, yeah. after that yeah. first game 
everybody is scared of LSD. They are like strong contenders of final at least. I don't know how that goes, but they are like a uh, very solid team. Alright, let's move on to the yeah, next game, um, which is my favorite. <laughs> Do you want to talk any pigeon? Do you want to talk more about that game? No, last point. Last point I wanted to say is like, who are the death bowlers? Okay, we saw Mark Wood. Uh, who are the death bowlers for LSG? To sum up, yeah, Mark Wood, Avesh Khan. Uh, Mark Wood, Avesh Khan. Who was there? There was Mohsin Khan. I don't know if they replaced someone else. So they have Karl Myers and they have Jaydev Unarkat, but I think they would go with Ma- Mark Wood. Or Mark Wood and Avesh Khan. Yeah, Avesh is a good death or uh, death or bowler. He has done uh, pretty well with the chances that he got in IPL um, last couple of seasons. So Avesh would be their prime choice and Mark Wood. Yeah. LSG has like everything sorted up, man. I mean, like this is if, good like they have everything. Yeah, it's a pretty good team and they have their... Beautiful captain and uh, mentor, Gautam Gambhir, <laughs> as well. So. We, we have yeah. a confession as a group. Uh, Surya Kalaga hates KL. Uh, <laughs> has hates some KL personal vendetta. Yeah. Has yeah. Some personal yeah, because, vendetta. Strike, KL. because strike rate doesn't because strike rate doesn't matter for him. Strike rate doesn't matter for so, him in T Twenty games. Especially, so play like KL, this. If you're to this podcast, KL, if you're listening to this podcast, uh, stay away from Surya. So, a person like person like Surya Kalaga saying KL Rahul's team LSG has everything sorted out means a lot lucky, man. for LSG. <laughs> <laughs> I like KL getting out early is like a blessing in disguise for them. Uh, if he plays long, then it's going to be yeah. a big deal for them. <laughs> it's going to make it tough. Let, Just on a funny yeah, side. Let, yeah, let's get on to the next okay, game let's, 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 between Sunrisers and yeah. Rajasthan. It was a total repeat of last year's game. Uh, last year's game, Sunrisers, the first game for Sunrisers was against Rajasthan. I think I believe in Pune. And Rajasthan scored 200. I mean, like this, their top order clicked and hammered. And it was a like Sunrise's top order had two ducks. The same thing happened here today as well. Everyone was touting Sunrisers as you know the team to beat and team to qualify. Maybe after Mark Rump comes, maybe they pick up things. But I think there was no intent today from the batters, if you ask me. There was no, not at all intent. And they just got out to Bolt's brilliance with the new ball. Right? So, I mean, that's where the game was taken away. Uh, I mean, Abhishek you know, scoring a duck and uh, at one point, Rahul Tripathi. Mayank looked good. Uh, I mean, he looked... Yeah, but... He didn't look no, like I think, I believe everyone struggled. Yeah, everyone looked... Everyone struggled. Uh, even Harry Brook, we had high hopes on him. He was... I think maybe he might take three, four games to get into groove, but... Uh, he was also, I mean, he was also not looking comfortable at the crease. So, I believe once Mark Ram comes and Janssen comes, we might a, be able to fix some of those issues because that will allow us to play Mark Ram in the middle order as well. Yeah. I mean, and again, you I mean, see the clear uh, difference there. Uh, in this game, the intent, the, how RR started and how they went bang, bang from yeah. the beginning. And uh, it was yep. pretty good e- to watch. Even Jay last Swal year, going. there was this... This year, last year, uh, last year as well, there was no intent by the top order. Kane did not, you know, go bang, bang. It was always 6 overs 35, 6 overs 40, but it was never 6 over 60 or something like that. So, I believe they have to go that approach as well. But their only strength was bowling. And apparently, we did give 200 runs today. So, I mean, it did not click today. But maybe yeah. over the period of next few games, maybe it will pick up. That's what I'm well, hoping I for. Feel, and... I so, feel if Mark Markram comes back, uh, then you have a very good batting order. Like you have three good batsmen there, man. Like one is uh, Markram, and then other one is uh, Mayank Agarwal in the top, uh, and then Harry Brook, Glenn Phillips. If you add to the attack, like it is a very good attack. I think I expected a little bit better from Adil Rashid that he can repeat 
Rashid Khan for SRH. Uh, I didn't no, no, see that's not any. Possible. Yeah, I didn't see any any much difference. Uh, like uh, Adil Rashid did, yeah. didn't create think, much uh, uh, impact uh, there. Yeah, our next game is against Lucknow. Uh, in Lucknow. Yeah. So what 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 I overall saw in this game, uh, in in my own point of view, is particularly SRH has a, has been hyped by so many ex players, commentators, experts on social media that they have a strong level. Maybe I'm not saying that yet because perhaps they are not having all the players as you all mentioned. Okay, they they need to get back their captain himself, uh, Markram, and there are, there are a couple of reinforcement. But the point is. Team which did much better last season are our Rajasthan Royals. They are continuing where they left off, which is a good thing to see because Sanju Sham, Sanju wasn't doing as good in the beginning of the tournament last year as a captain. Um, he improved his captainship over the time, and I think team bought into much of the idea of how. They them they they see themselves right going forward, and now I think them staying together and delivering what they did until the last game last season is good to see. Again, it's just one game, one data point, so we can't extrapolate everything how yep. the tournament would be. But at the same time, you see their top order is look looking like what they were doing last year, and similarly, if you see a good team which is. Again, not my top four yet. We would see in mid season. They have all the chances to get better. They look like having a good eleven, but they need to get together and put performances right. Uh, those combinations have to come in. Um, SRH is one of those teams. So going forward, I think they need to at least give some competitive total. Unlike CSK, unlike Mumbai Indians, unlike KKR, they don't need to put 10, 20 runs more than the par score. They can be at par or 10 runs less also. That's okay because they have good enough bowlers. But at the same time, they need to at least score somewhere close to par, which they failed Shout this out time. to so think, as well. Pretty good performance. Yeah, yeah they, he, he did pretty good. So overall, I think bets, batsmen yeah. like uh, who, are not, who are not kept, like for example, Abhishek Sharma. Then you have Rahul Tripathi. Then you have Abdul Samad. These three players, if they're going to keep getting uh, game time, if they keep going to get games, they need to put some runs. Okay, twenty runs also help. We saw that against uh, yeah. in LSG's performance, right? Many players put twenty runs, and that was very helpful. So, no yeah. runs versus twenty runs, uh, big, big, big difference. Yeah. Again, to add to that point, Rahul Tripathi getting out cheaply is uh, one odd instance that is uh, not regularly uh, because he has been consistent in IPL like whatever the chances that he has got so probably that one odd game that he getting out cheaply has affected them on the top and it let Mayank and Harry group uh, Harry Brook not get going uh, they kind of tried to build a partnership there but uh, they were no way close to uh, chasing that total because the run rate was just uh, yeah. surging up and up. Yeah, and but credits just, to Kudos uh, to RR. Uh, uh, yeah. Outplayed Sunrisers in every department. Exactly. And exactly. my boy Shashvi scored 50. Mm, yeah. Proud moment Moving for, for Shastri. And uh, RR is another team that is team to beat, uh, looking like a team to beat because they have Trent Bolt uh, in their bowling lineup. Jason Holder, pretty mix in their top six batters as well they have their roles defined again so rr doesn't look like threatening on paper but when they are actually on the field what i notice is uh, they play better than the expectations most of the time so this is what has been the pattern with the rr for last last uh, i mean i don't know every season i see rr as a better competing team when they are on field they don't lose like cheaply or they don't give away the games that easily it's not a one-sided game when you f play with rr most of the time okay props to yeah, sanju's captaincy as well yep yeah i mean credit to them they played outplayed sunrise in every department uh, it was a good one-sided game although boring yeah so pretty good and performance i like the fact here 
uh, that RR management choose Sanju as a captain, even though they have Josh, ba- Josh Butler in the squad, uh, which is always helpful. And I mean, for a candidate like yeah, they, Sanju, they, he can he can yeah. learn and play a better they, game. They, they, they did. That they did last season, last so season. I think that there was, yeah, no, uh, yeah, and, and they have to yeah, continue yeah. because they yeah. reached finals. Yes. Uh, one point, right. one point on yeah. this uh, substitution was Samad with Faruqi. If Markram comes, when, so when Markram comes, I think out of the four players played for SRH, one cannot play. So, what are the changes we're looking forward to this? Team? It will be Phillips. It will be Phillips that will be coming in. Yeah, Yan then will be replaced. Uh, by will be Adil Rashid will be out. Janssen will come in. But I don't know. They have to right? An Indian, yeah, Indian spinner would be there. You have and Sundar, but you do not have a leg. Yeah. Uh, because the bowling is what makes important for yeah. SRH. And uh, I mean, if you want to replace Janssen, but other than that, it would be Klassen who will be keeping. If so, Klassen would not. be keeping. So, if the class, if, so. So if that substitution happens, you have to okay. So Klassen is overseas, Phillips is overseas. Who Markram re- replaces? Phillips, Philip, Markram, Klassen, Brook, and one bowler. This will be the composition. Or Markram, if, if or Rashid, Rashid goes out, Brooks. if Rashid goes, yeah, yeah, if Rashid, if one Rashid bowler goes and three out, batsmen. Yeah, one overseas bowler, so, either Rashid or Janssen. and uh, if Markram comes in. Then it might be Glenn Phillips ninety percent of the time because they no. they have high no. hopes on. They will be class and class and is his form of his life, so they will go with class. Ah, class. Oh, they go with class. Yeah, Brook Brook. They will give four games or five games to prove his thirteen crore tag, and then the one will be between Janssen, Adil Rashid, depending upon the surface that we play. Wait. Ah, uh, so how many overseas player did? Uh, SRH play today. Four, 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 four. Rook, Philip. Four was Faruk. Rook, Philip. Faruk. Uh, yeah. Okay. Faruk was just a replacement. Faruki. So, so it will be in the next game. It will be Klassen, Markram, mm-hmm. Brook, and one bowler of uh, Janssen or Adil Rashid, depending upon the surface. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So I think. I think. We did good on this game. Uh, we know now some expectation coming forward. Reinforcements. Yep. Um, okay, so yep. to the next game. Yeah. So if Rashid Mumbai goes versus... out, then if Rashid goes out, sorry, if Rashid goes out, then Abhishek Sharma would be your second spinner. Yes, Slowly and he has been a pretty good form as well. Yes, <laughs> I, he has <laughs> some stuff on SRH management, so he is not leaving and <laughs> not giving up performances as well. So, don't know. Let's hope for the best. He he won a game for you, bro. Last year against CSK. Against CSK, I know. It, before he, that, he in became opener against, against CSK. He became opener against CSK, and then it no, changed he, his life. Last end season, he was. You, started I, I I think you you have May Mayank Marken there also. He might play yes, for yes. Rashid mm. as a yeah. As a, if so, he's yep. uh, depending on what he's a, depending I, upon I, the I, surface. I, He's a good prospect. I would say. Yeah, I would I would say Adil also should play when the spinner is going to have bigger impact or difficult yeah. pitch. Like for example, if Chennai. Yansen should not. You, play. Yeah. 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 It's either Yansen or uh, Rashid. That's it. Yeah. That's okay. okay. All right. To the next game then. All right. I think this game, game has it was, this uh, game. This game needs just two yeah. minutes. Uh, <laughs> 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 no. So this is my second favorite team and third favorite playing team. So it was RCB versus uh, Mumbai, and I know it was battle between the captain of Indian team and the ex captain of Indian team. And Mumbai were outplayed entirely. Mumbai lost the game in the power play itself. Like the, their power play costed them a lot. Uh, but As hats you... off to Tilak Verma for yeah, hats off to Tilak Verma for putting up a decent performance. It's, he scored 84 of 43 balls in a tough situation. Hats off to him. Uh, but ironically, and he is from Hyderabad, and that's where SRN management sucks for not finding uh, their local talent. Yep, 
because taking the, because and, it's always mumbai that gives you gems right they f- scout the hell out of the player and you know they take the yes this i think that's one good their thing their investment is going to pay in next 5 years for sure their investment yeah. is going to pay back yes. in next 5 years so, for sure so if so for <laughs> this point am i uh, as as i've been a long support am i uh, my point is our team as i already mentioned when we're discussing about csk am i is one more team which needs to put runs uh why they need to put runs because they don't have the bowlers there is no competitive spinner there is a uh, lack of death hovers especially when just with bumrah is not there so if the bowling is not as good as it used to be they need to put more runs uh, at least 10 20 plus more than the par now having said that who are the players who can deliver uh, they have three indian talents rohit sharma ishan kishan surya kumar yadav and apart from that they need to bring in some performances out of team david and cameron green okay Cam green. so this is so these are senior players perhaps they have some experience on international games having said that there are three don't forget uh, archer there are three talents which most of the mi fans would be excited for including me uh, what are those three talents newell bruis baby abby right uh, second yeah. is tilak we varma have tilak varma which showed his class today and new addition nehal uh, wadera Right. Yeah. 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 Nehal Wadera. Yeah. And Nehal Wadera showed today he's capable of smashing the ball out of the park. Deval Bruish. Uh, yeah. De- sorry. Deval Bruish has shown and Tilak Verma has shown today also. So I think these three would keep delivering. There would be learning curve. At the same time, the people, players who are playing the game for a long time, like for example, Rohit Sharma, Surya Kumar Yadav and Ishan Kishan, they need to start putting some performances. As an MI fan, you know yeah. that first two, three games, you start with a shaky. As usual, right? they uh, are they rusty. Would, there, would be, there would be turbulence and there is a fact. In fact, since 2013, we haven't won the first game. So, yeah. nothing new for Not us. Not even. Yeah. But... But so there shouldn't be the, the complacency factor that oh this is this is going to happen. So we have to have yeah. that mentality because if we don't win the four or five games, we have to buckle up, find some areas, perform better. We don't have yeah. that luxury this year. So if we don't win first four or five games, we might repeat last season. Last season we were the last team. Yeah. So I think yeah. to at least get close to the qualification, we need to buckle up in the betting department more yeah. than the bowling and department. I'd, I would not trust those the, youngsters I, I would, to deliver as well. Yeah, and 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 I yeah. have hopes on Mumbai when they play at home. Um, they they can deliver and they can bounce back. Um, at Wonk Day, uh, say, and uh, shout out yeah. to Tilak Verma. I mean, he's been absolute gem. Um, he has been delivering since last season for uh, Mumbai. Um, uh, like he played on a. whole different planet when you look at the other mumbai batters and compare with tilak varma he has played like he looked like uh, he's not at all in trouble at all um yeah i think technical battle of bowling i think rohit missed uh, mr trick here one one small trick which was starting with jason and arshad he could have he could have had Jofra somewhere before one of these guys okay uh, both of the first two bowlers tried swinging the ball whereas Jofra would have tried reducing the impact or or licking the runs right so i think if Jofra had Jofra had been introduced first Virat yeah, Kohli yeah. and right. as well jo- uh, Virat gave a right. chance he dropped right a right, right point well. so i was I, about to yeah yeah i, so I think this trick was Jofra. missed by... he, he even though he's was, playing off right Oh, wow, one sec. Uh, this trick was missed. And after that, I think once those players set up, uh, obviously we'll go in the RCB track also and we'll see what they did. But if Jofra had come before Arshad or before Jason, uh, in combination, we would have had much different result perhaps, at least in power play. Uh, again, the final result is different. Second thing I wanted to mention is Pius Chawla, did exceptionally well for the age he is okay so i think overall picture is not looking good in the spin department when somebody like pius chawla delivering the results and everyone else not as good as pius chawla yeah notable performance from rcb king is back at his home ground it has adopted home ground the atmosphere was electric 
the electric. atmosphere at <laughs> china swami was electric no i mean i know no wonder their fan base is so loyal to them it was so electric you know even kohli said that in the post match presentation that because of these guys we get we are made to show that we deliver 120% not 100% they act as our like impetus and shout out to kohli faf played a fabulous innings and karn Sh- karn sharma he was with rcb for last year but he did not get a game but this year he like on china swami where we were going for runs he picked up 23 to win four overs so it was a pretty good performance piyush chawla i mean spinners are the key in china swami if you're a good spinner you will find ways to get batsmen out yeah spinners yeah, are the key there were... and so that um, piyush has done exceptionally well there and uh, of course piyush has bowled four overs on the trot without a break and uh, i i didn't uh, see what um rohit is trying to do there um he is getting him of course he is doing well um but um, he just got it his quota in four overs that's it yeah um, all of and, them i mean the game was lost in power play how much ever you scored, yeah the game was, was lost in power of course faf faf was fabulous Both power uh, he started he started with a master stroke attack like uh, being aggressive and taking away the game um uh, in first four it, four overs itself they were like striking it um 10 runs per over and uh, uh what i noticed is i was curious to watch uh, jofra archer after a long break and uh, the positive for him is like he's still clocking 145 plus case consistently all he needs is uh, getting his rhythm and maybe bowling that line and length probably that first ball uh, was a return catch from kohli like the, he could have bo- caught kohli in his first ball uh, it would have made a little difference in the game uh, other than that there were no chances at all like rcb didn't give any chance for mumbai i don't know mumbai is still a balanced attack but uh, as usual they were yeah. rusty as what else only pius look they have only pius look like a good it. bowler in there only pius look like a good bowler in their lineup today Yeah. yeah they uh, are chasri go they have score more runs that's it because their batting line is the key they don't have the ball- bowlers to defend so their batsmen have to perform like if they are aiming for a total of 180 they have to aim for 200 just because they don't have the bowling depth right so, and unfortunately you know, their 15 crore yeah their 15 crore players didn't perform well today yeah 30 crore for what how many runs 10 runs 30 goals for runs. seven runs yeah 15 so so yeah so oh, few points uh few points on this obviously you both gave props uh, rightly so for faf and virat um good points for rcb they looking strong especially for their prominent batters i feel like experience matters in ipl because you need to know the environment of different tracks how usually the teams and the crowds are sometimes the vibe is just different in ipl games versus vibe is really different in india versus inter- so any international game okay so i think for cameron green there was some tax okay f- first exposure tax uh, that tax is usually for most players um, coming off from the injury i have always held this belief for a pace bowler is different than the batsman Um, if a pace bowler is coming from an injury the pace bowler would take a little bit more time to recover and get back to the form obviously jo- jofra archer is one of the prominent bowlers he has experience around the world so he would be able to get back to his best we have to give him few 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 games similarly if you see players like jason and cameron need to get back to the group uh, i was seeing faf going after cameron with is he was from middle and leg stump he was making room and putting in the cover cover area so those sort of things cameron green would have to adjust he would learn obviously he's a smart player he's uh, talented obviously and he has potential so he would have to use some cricketing brain think about what happened today there are there are there are few learning curves obviously and at the same time the pace bowler area is lacking for mumbai indians we know that so at the end of the day if we don't put enough runs on the board we would not be expecting a win uh, mumbai has to make sure 
And this is true for CSK and this is true for KKR. If they're not putting runs on the board, these are three teams I find they would not be able to defend with the ball. Adding to that, uh, you know, one more injury in this game. Reese Topley got injured and uh, RCB yeah. might be RCB struggling with the ball. Will be more, uh, yeah, uh, will be more stronger Moving once Mindu comes back. Yeah, but he's just a spinner, right? You don't have a death bowler. But you need Who spinner is the death bowler? Chinna Swami. Who is the death bowler? One who can act as a death bowler. Yeah. One Hindu. Can, yeah, so can, this, this point four, I mentioned. Let, one. let me mention this point. I mentioned the group. For RCB, RCB looks very good. Obviously, amazing win. But for them to lift the trophy, learn lessons from last. Uh, learn lessons from last time. They lost in playoffs multiple times. Last two seasons, they've been doing good, reaching playoffs, not winning. Obviously, we know that they haven't won trophy ever. For them to lift the trophy this year, um, they have to focus on a couple of things. One is, Herschel needs to get back to the form. If Herschel is out of form the way we've been seeing in the last few months, it's difficult for RCB to lift the trophy because when the games get close, even one week area would matter a lot. Okay? So, if one week area is there, they cannot lift the trophy. That's what we saw with the RR versus GT game last time. We're going to see over and over again. So, Herschel needs to get better. Similarly, for me, I would say, they need to slightly get better with the middle order batsmen who are not, uh, you know, superstars. We see Virat Kohli half two places. But who are not superstar also have to deliver, like Rajat Patidar, right? He delivered. But I think this season he's injured. I'm not sure when he comes back, how good he would be. So we don't know. So the players who don't have experience need to stand up also to win trophy. Okay, they might reach playoff with Virat and Faf, but to win the trophy they need a couple of these areas to tighten up. And uh, adding to that, uh, they don't have, of course, uh, due to injury. Um, this Hazelwood and then now Reese Topley. So I think they are lacking a bowler who can uh, create impact there because Mohamed Siraj has been exceptionally well. Uh, he's someone who improved extremely in last couple of years and he bowled exceptionally well in the first couple of overs as well when he bowled in the power play. And uh, he does that every often. But uh, Mohamed Siraj, I don't keep him for the back uh, like the death um, I would rather use him as a power play bowler and yeah, get his overs I mean. done soon. Um, and Harshal, I don't know, man. He goes for runs. Of course, he gets wickets sometimes, uh, at least one wicket a game. But he goes for runs. So they need one good fast bowler. So they might need to find a good replacement for Reese Topley if his uh, uh, injury is uh, severe. Uh, so did they go to Reese Topley in place of Hazelwood? No, no, no. They bought him right at the They bought him. So. Oh, okay. And who is the replacement for Hazelwood? So Hazelwood is unlikely. To... I don't They have not did yet. But I don't think Hazelwood is coming back to play this year's IPL. So that's that. And adding to that, these top is injury. They might need two at least. They can go for Matt Henry or some Adam Milnick. And I mean, that's the best bet, right? So, or maybe some Sri Lankan bowler, Kishanaka or something. But that's. It's not a no man, Shanaka is not a good death bowler. Shanaka is a batter. I would see him as a batting all rounder than yeah. bowler. So that is not a good option for them. Let's see. Wait, uh, let's rather wait for the new pick someone. So see. Yeah. Pick someone okay, from so... Bangladesh as well. You have good talent in the bowling. Yeah. yeah. My... Tuskin Amal, the <laughs> They won't go that route. No, no, they won't <laughs> go that route. But... Okay, so I think I think this is enough for this game. Uh, what is what are the I, I in my opinion uh, we should discuss next three games, which I find very interesting personally, uh, yeah. especially CSK LSG tomorrow, which is in on Chennai. Monday uh, in, in Chennai. Chennai. This Kala in yeah, Chennai. Gujarat is yeah Gujarat is playing in Delhi, uh, and Punjab is visiting Rajasthan. 
So, in my opinion, I think for tomorrow's game, CSK versus LSG is going to be a very interesting game. First time CSK, uh, uh, sorry, first game in Chennai, obviously. And the track would be slower deck than we have seen in other venues. So, I think if LSG is visiting CSK, LSK, LSG is a better team. CSK is a historical team. So, we would see this... Uh, area who would win i, I would say get... lsg I... lsg might have an lsg might have an edge because csk is missing thikshana if thikshana was there i would give edge to csk so i think i'm giving a little bit of edge to lsg i'm expecting it won't be an easy game it would be uh for last over thriller for sure uh hopefully uh, fingers crossed and uh <laughs> I, I would expect more in, intent from the CSK middle order to fire up because uh, they really need to go bang bang. They have batting again until 10th. So they should go bang bang no matter what. Like forget about the scorecard. Just go bang bang. And uh, LSG, they start as favorites for sure with the performance that we have seen in their first game. And they have a proper mix of everything proper solid mix of everything and the drop is for mark wood it stands up it stands apart and uh, csk as usual our bowling uh, is weak so we just need to depend on our batting i think uh, if they chase that would be better for csk because they have a target and they can plan accordingly they can bat accordingly but if csk bats first uh, i think uh, that might uh, be a difficult game for csk it all depends on Dhoni's tactics in chennai uh, he has been extremely good in chennai so i'm hoping this will be a um, something that opens doors for csk's yeah, points table they are favorites to win tomorrow they are ho- i hope they win tomorrow and their favorites to win tomorrow so looking forward to it yeah I, I would give slight edge to lsg because of thikshana is not there and lsg have good spinners as well so uh, yeah i would say yeah but cs chepak is the fortress so you cannot breach so into che- the fortress yeah. and they must need <laughs> so if if chennai wants to have any hope to reach to the playoffs they really need to win games at chennai most of the teams know exactly that, so exactly everybody okay, let, knows that let's so. move yeah yeah so let's move to the next next game. DC versus GT. Um, GT visiting Delhi. What's up with that? It's a GT. big game for GT. DC then. No, I I don't think GC, DC would fire back. Uh, they because it's their home game. DC will, of course, as you mentioned in the previous game, Michel Marsh and Prithvi Shaw getting out cheaply is one odd instance. It it won't happen any other day. Uh, so I think DC will start well. Uh, it it is a difficult game for GT. Because uh, as Watsal mentioned, they don't have a deep batting lineup. And if DC score big, then it's a DC game. Or or then it might go 50-50 based on the average total. If it is 160 or 150, yeah. then it might be a 50-50 game still. Yeah, yeah I would say a couple, couple points on this quick points. DC, for DC to win against GT, they need to take early wickets of GT, especially Gil and Hardik. If they put these two batters quickly inside the dressing room, Delhi has a big chance. Yeah. For Gil. Gujarat, yeah, for Gujarat to win, they need quick wickets, especially in power play. Shami does that usually. So we would see good, good uh, first battle, power play battle. When we bowling, GT is bowling. Uh, if Warner plays long, Difficult for GT. So we'll see all these battles. I think I would give a little bit of edge to GT because obviously Hardik is winning those small battles, critical battles. So I would give a little bit of edge to GT. Yeah. And Gil my, being in his my, uh, form yeah, of his my life. Yeah, G- DC. I mean, tomorrow's game will be CSK. Second, the largest game will be GT. And third game will be RR. It's a RR home game, ORD. So... I think even the third game would be very interesting because RR and Punjab both are like uh, balanced attacks. So it will be, uh, it won't be as uh, dead rubbers as like today what we watched uh, the both games. It would be interesting. It will go down to the wire. Um, so uh, uh, pretty solid I'm ex- game uh, expect- for next three. I'm a, yeah, I'm expecting RR versus Punjab to be run fast. 
I think RR and Again, Punjab yeah, both yeah. both might score 200 runs. Okay, that That's game is true. going to be run That's fast. That's true. And also to all the point team, that Hyderabad is Hyderabad is the only team to lose the home game in the round one. Rest all teams won their respective home games. And the fans came too. <laughs> the ground was full. <laughs> My poor, fan poor. was. <laughs> Their, their fan base was exceptional. <laughs> of course, yeah. Uh, Stain begged. Possible. Stain begged. Yeah, Stain begged. Uh, Orange are to come to future games as well. Just it is. It was a one-off game, and we will be fully squad. Like we will have full squad from the next game. So please do come supporting us. It was like begging. Hopefully, like, hopefully LSG I mean, pull the crowd for their home games as well. They they looked like uh, less support in their home game. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, they maybe because it's an early game. Uh, if if the game is in the evening, I think most teams would see a lot of crowd. Uh, but I don't know. No, again, you're right. Game. So, yeah. it was night game. Oh, my bad. Then, then they yeah. should. Yeah. Weekdays it will be right. night game. Weekends it will be double headers. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So I think all right. I think yeah, all all this is all from my end. Uh, had wonderful conversation with you boys. Yep. Wonderful chat, and guys. we have the fourth game was like KKR versus RCB, Eden Gardens. Oh, sorry, you're wrapping up. <laughs> good chat, guys. Yeah, yeah, good chat. And we, we, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see you all on next Sunday. Wonderful. All right. Yep. To see you. Nice yep. seeing you guys. All right. Take care. Have fun. Take care.